beautiful people, Hidden Joburg family. Thank you so much for watching our previous podcasts. We are here with Fatuwani, who is one of Joburg's established creatives. And we're excited we get to chat with him. Um, I don't know if you know this, he's one of the co-owners of a really established restaurant. You might know it, even after all, which is actually here in 44 Stanley, which we are in. Um, we're currently in his creative studio. He does a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff. I did some research on him. I know he has a motorbike <laughs> <laughs> and I know he just actually has a drum kit right there. I didn't even see that. Yeah. I just want to actually find out and ask him first. Can you tell us the day in the life of Fatuani? What, sure. what is it that you do? Tell us, tell us what, what, what each day, what a day looks like for you. Sure. So um, I've become older yeah. and my day is still full of adventure like I was when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, with just added more things like uh, uh, house chores for yeah. my house, like cleaning my pool. I'm not OCD, but I like cleaning my house, keeping my house clean. Yeah. And then um, what do I do? I go to boxing, which is my daily routine yeah. so i do a boxing session yeah go back home chill a bit yeah maybe swim or take a shower yeah and then have breakfast with my twin brother yeah and then we come You're to the twin brother studio. yeah I do. <laughs> yeah i do um we quite tight we do a lot of things together yeah. and um yeah so we meet up for breakfast myself and him or with our best friends yeah here at 44 and then we do you meet up for breakfast at your restaurant yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Most yeah. of the, most of the time at my restaurant, and yeah. then if not, if I'm in the Pakis area, then yeah. I'm having breakfast there. Yeah, and then we come here. This is uh, my studio that I share with my twin brother. Yes, uh, it's our nine to five. It's my nine to five. So I'll sit here on this table. Yeah, go through my emails. Yeah, uh, check who inquired for an artwork. Yeah, uh, ship some stuff to wherever where it's sold, and yeah. then prep for prep canvases for later for me yeah, to paint yeah. i like painting late at night so Crazy. this time around yeah it's it's like not downtime it's almost like admin stuff yeah yeah taking things there getting things framed making sure clients are good yeah and then around 4 p.m then i start painting yes and um, and then um yeah. what time do you go like from 4 p.m what time do you go home yeah do you stay until like the Late, yeah, yeah, no, I normally live here at uh, 10 or 11 yeah. p.m. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I think so. My life is work. Everything yeah. I do is work, but I've modeled it to be fun. Yeah. Uh, there's no time where I'm just chilling, to be honest. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's chilling is part of working. So yeah. if I'm in my pool with a cool cocktail, I'm still working because. <laughs> I'm doing content for Kovasi, which is um, a brand I'm a, an ambassador for. Nice. So nice. everything I do has a way of income. For yes, me. that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's how <laughs> that's how I model my life. Maybe maybe can you give like more more clarity, just in case people don't know a little bit, because you now just said your day in life. I'm yeah. sure they see artwork behind you right now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe can you give us clarity? What 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 is it that you might be then doing? What is it that you do? Okay, cool. Yeah. So. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm a painter, I'm yeah. an artist. Yeah. And then I have a restaurant that I oversee. Yes. I do have managers there uh, and I've got partners that uh, I work with there. Yeah. Uh, but it's here, so I'm always like checking how yeah. things are. And then um, I have an agency called I See A Different You. We do production, photography and uh, creative work, like advertising stuff nice. above the line and below the line. So I check that as well, nice. see where we are. And uh, and then, um, geez, uh, I, I, I love boxing, yeah. which is a fun thing. <laughs> yeah. I love, uh, uh, what do they call it? Moto bikes. Yeah. Um, uh, I've, I've partnered now with these amazing guys. I can't disclose. Yeah. They'll be, I'll be doing like rides monthly. Nice. Curating rides monthly. Nice. It's practically that. And yeah. like, there's a lot of other stuff. I just forget what yeah. that is. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'm a businessman. Yeah, yeah. And, and a businessman who's having fun. I can see that. <laughs> see, now I've got the question then. Yep. So I've, I've, I've had many conversations with people that then ask me, Jeff, why is there nothing to do in Joburg? Sure. Like they would tell me, and just even the way you just described your day to day, it doesn't sound like you're one of those people that think there's nothing fun to do yeah, in Joburg. Yeah. yeah. What, do you think that there's nothing fun to do in Joburg or are you on the other side? No, there's a lot of fun to do in yeah. Joburg. Um, 
Firstly, like how I have fun, I love nature now. Yeah. So I, I mentioned I'm older, I don't like do the bar stuff. Yeah. There's bars you yeah. can go to, like Definitely. lots of them, really cool. My restaurant is a cool bar, it's a cool bar as well. Yeah, you yeah. can have drinks there. Uh, there's amazing uh, art happening in, in Joburg. Yeah. So all galleries are exhibiting yeah. hard work, you know. Yeah. You can do studio visits uh, yeah. weekends here on in my studio. Yeah. Only by appointment. Yes. And other studios, uh, Ellis House and uh, uh, what's that other one? Um, August House. Yeah. There's other new studios as well. Yeah. You can go check out art. Yeah. Not in a gallery, yes. but in a studio, and yeah. I see the process of the artist. And then I also do mountain biking. Yeah. There's like cool trail rides at the Sprite. Yeah. From I I like to ride from the what's this green side till up. Four ways. Crazy. And back, you know, there's <laughs> motorcycling. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, there's amazing restaurants with food. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What's what's like the one rest or maybe not restaurant, but maybe one little establishment you would say recommend. Maybe one or two mm. that you'd recommend people should then maybe visit. Okay. Firstly I'd say mine. Yeah. Even after all. Yeah, definitely. Uh, number two, there's one I frequent a lot. I love it. It's yeah. called Bottega. Okay. It's in Parkest. Yeah. And then that's, that's, okay. it's like an Italian little cool restaurant. Yeah. And then <laughs> there's one called Dottalini. Yeah. It's in Orchards. Yeah. Uh, it's Italian as well. Yeah. So good. Seems to like Italian. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do, I do. And then, yeah, it, yeah, that's it for now. But there's yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a, amazing. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so then, um, now, I want to change the topic. One of my questions that I want to ask, do you think anyone can be creative? That's because you 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 you're, you're showing so much creativity already yeah. in everything you do. Yeah. And I watched the one podcast. Someone was talking about the fact that we as human beings want to give value into the world, and that's by being creative. You yeah. Know, we create something. It doesn't matter even if you copy someone. It's still uniquely you're, you created something that's still unique. For sure. You want to give something a value into the world. But do you think everyone can do that, or do you think it's? Yeah, my view to creativity. I think everyone yeah. is a creative. Yeah. Uh, they just over like an accountant. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And no, accountant is a yeah. creative. Yeah. And I get to that. I'll be quick about it. So I just think they over glorify what we do. Yes. What a guy like me do yes. as a visual artist, as a drama yeah. or beat maker, whatever all yeah. those things are. Anything that uh, requires problem solving yes. has creativity. Yes. Lawyers can help you out with your problems with SARS yes. and creatively come with a solution to yeah. convince SARS that you're not guilty. Yeah. So I won't go to the like the crime, bad, bad crime stuff, but yeah. that's creativity. Yeah. Surgeons yeah. who are operating whatever your brain or your lungs, they yeah. have to think creative, creatively to go, how do we enter or open his ch chest, yeah, yeah, yeah. take out whatever that's there, mm. pin it back, you mm. know, that's creative work. Yeah. It's just seen differently yes and i think everything is creative yes. you know soccer is creativity it's yes. art because they're the art of of dribbling people <laughs> you know like yeah. or scoring like Messi and ronaldo i'm not yeah. a soccer guy but yeah there's an art there yeah. you know and uh, i can go in depth with many careers cell phone technology it's yeah. art architecture is yeah. also art like you know yeah everything is art honestly yeah so yeah. then what would you say to someone like someone because i know there's people probably out there that are sitting there feeling like they can't be creative yeah like what advice would you give to someone to maybe get out of that fear that yeah fear of like they can't do anything that's anything that they, even you, you the way you describe creativity was so well but if they if you have a fear that they can't even elaborate more on their creativity what advice would you give someone Sure. Um, I think the first thing is you must start with what you have. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. And you can't start uh, great. Picasso wasn't there Picasso when he started. Mm. There was baby Picasso who no one really cared about mm. on scene. Mm. You build it up. Consistency. Mm. You know, whatever you want to be, if you give it enough time, you'll yeah. master it. Mm. You'll be better with it. You'll be good with it. Mm. You need to be consistent uh, at whatever thing you like, um, if it's drawing, I'm obsessed with drawing. Yeah. Obsession is part of the component of starting something. Yeah. I'm obsessed with art. Mm. I do it every day. Yeah. I paint eight hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and by doing that, it's practice and it's helping me be better every yeah. day. I'm becoming better and better and better because yeah, yeah, exactly. reputation. You yeah, know? Exactly. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. 
So Thanks. then, what are some places then you would recommend, or some 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 places you think? I'm sure there's some things that you do, mm. or places you, you go to that help inspire your creativity. Yeah. Because I believe that creativity can't just come from you being at home every day, yeah. or like going from work to home, mm. maybe to the gym, but and the same routine every day. There's nothing that's gonna inspire a spark to see the world differently yeah, yeah. if you keep on with the same routine. What are some places or things that you do outside of the your routine that helps spark some creativity? Uh, okay, I'll try and change that first because yeah? uh, I don't think there's any place or thing that must inspire you. Yeah. Uh, inspiration is all around us. Yeah. And I don't wait for inspiration. Rather, my formula, there's yeah. no day where I wait and go, oh, damn, now I feel inspired. I just went for a hug, hike, now I feel inspired. Yeah. I think my trick or my approach to that is I just create, whether inspired or not inspired, yeah. whether I feel like doing it or okay, not doing it. Okay, just do it. Yeah, because the, the, the missed opportunity with art or creativity is mm. that we wait for a wave. There's no wave. Yeah. When you work as an accountant, you go there and you crunch the numbers. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. You must walk in here yeah. and crunch the, 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 <laughs> the charcoal and the oil paints and all that stuff. Yeah. Not everything you create will be great. Yeah. As like lawyers, for example, yeah. they, there's the best lawyers who've won won who've won cases and yeah. lost cases. Yeah, yeah. Great boxers who've lost cases. Uh, yeah. uh, what who've lost um, matches and yeah. won matches. Yeah, yeah. So same as yeah. There's yeah. no day where you go. Oh yeah, today I'm feeling. Yes, there might be a day where I'm like painting and I'm, I'm like, wow, this is really yeah. hard. Yeah. But I'm uh, we through the highs and lows. Yeah. To create. Yeah. Don't wait for inspiration because there's no such thing. Yeah. You know. Damn. Yeah. There's <laughs> no such thing. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. So then, okay. Then outside of that, then, if you were to recommend some places that people can then go and be creative, yeah, yeah. what are some places you might recommend then? I think the first thing for me, I find nature amazing okay. and fascinating because yeah. uh, nature is created by God and God is the greatest artist. Yeah. And when I, I like going to like my random walks at Delta Park or any other park I yeah. find. Mm -hmm. And I look at leaves and plants and uh, insects, and I'm like, wow, this is cool. Yeah. I take some inspiration from that. Like, I'll go, I was traveling to Sri Lanka, I saw the pa color palette of yeah. the place yeah. through the photos I was taking. Yeah. And I took that color palette, yeah. I created a body of work based yeah. on that. Crazy. So, yeah. that's, that's another way of approaching, mm. uh, finding uh, influence or inspiration, rather. Yeah. You know, like yeah. nature for me is the best. Yeah. Um, I like gadgets, you know, yeah. I like watching guys like Elon Musk, uh, yeah. all these guys who are just radical, creating yeah. things that are <clears throat> impossible. Yeah. They, they they also inspire me to go, I can do it too. Yeah. I can be the Elon Musk of of art. Yes, yes. You know, yeah. That's really cool. <clears throat> sure. <laughs> um, I actually want to touch on, you said you went to Sri Lanka. Yeah. What are some other cool places that you maybe have yet you visited? Uh, Nigeria. Nigeria? amazing yeah it's really amazing but for now what takes the cup is uh sri lanka for me yeah i went there for a month to do to learn how to surf yeah man it yeah. was so amazing the water the scenery like the yeah. ocean the, yeah. like so beautiful yeah and uh, also so cheap relative to whoever's pocket but yeah. it was quite affordable for real <laughs> but it's far yeah and it's was there beautiful what specific place in sri lanka did you get uh, I was in Willigama, which is like the popular okay. surf area. Yeah. And then after a week being there, I went to like the other side. I forgot the names, but it, all of it is beautiful. Yeah. yeah Whether yeah. they say it's commercial or not, yeah. it's beautiful there. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's it's, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And in your art place, art, art studio, mm -hmm. do you offer anything to help people? Do you do courses? Do you do training or do you do anything? Yeah, or like I do. Even just like little fun classes on like a Friday night. I'm not sure. Yeah, you let me know. Yeah, I do. So um, I'm an an ambassador for a cognac called Covasi. Yeah, and they quite motivate me to come up with anything cool. Yeah. So because I get a lot of young guys asking me questions. Yes. I say once or twice a month I do like a master class mm. not really a master class I, yeah. I just have 20 to 30 people in the studio we have a conversation I'll yeah. share what I know um, just share I like sharing everything you know my yeah. process uh, what it what it take took to for me to be kind of here the yeah. self-branding stuff you yeah. know 
help where I can. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that's what I do twice a month. Yeah. I haven't started this year. I think I'm gonna do one this month. I'll announce it. Yeah. And just have a conversation and have all these guys who ask me questions to like engage with me mm. in person yeah. and I can answer and share and yeah. learn from them as well. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Sure. <laughs> well, okay. So that is actually the end of our lovely discussion. Amazing. Yeah. If you have anything, do you wanna say anything to any advice, one small one, one small piece of advice from sure. the man himself. Uh, <laughs> I always advise uh, anyone, actually not young, anyone young or yeah. old. It's never too late to be whatever, whatever you want to be. Yeah. I started my art career when I was 36. Crazy. What were you doing before then? 35. Yeah. I was, I was running my agency. Yes. That was a, one, thing, one thing I was doing every day, full time. Yeah. I started my art career when I was 35. Yeah. Professionally. Yeah. And it 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 it's looking great. Yeah. You know, I'm 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 blessed. Uh, I feel extremely extremely blessed because I wake up and I do what I love every day. Yeah. But my motivation is, you can do it. Yes. Whatever it is. Yeah. You can be whatever you wanna be. Yeah. And uh, just put your mind to it. Yeah. Work hard towards it. Yeah. Uh, don't just pray about it. Yeah. Be about it. You Do know? it as well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, work is a form of prayer. So wake up and work. If you want to be a fashion designer, start cutting up stuff. Yeah, exactly. Start drawing. Exactly. Do it. Yeah. Obsessively. Yeah. Research it. Yeah. yeah. Flub. Okay. Yeah. I'm inspired. Uh -huh. I hope everyone else is inspired. <laughs> I hope Rachel's inspired by the camera. But we're going to end our podcast today, uh, right now. So I just want to say thank you to Fatuani for joining us. He's just been a really awesome guy. Sure. Um, I'm inspired to hear what he has done and I'm keen to just, yeah, just keep in contact with sure. you. Sure. Yeah, awesome. but please. Thank you so much. Please watch the previous podcast that we did with Mo. It was really awesome and we have more in the future to come. Nothing that they could say.